Okay, I have a story for you guys. I have not told this story to anybody. Never telling this story for the first time tonight. Welcome back. In Pinehurst, North Carolina, where my family lives now. Uh, when I was a younger man, a younger man, let's say 22, 23, some of my friends in North Carolina and I used to go to a strip club in so Pinehurst, back. North Carolina, which is CW. nowhere, out really well. called Club Gold. And it was kind of like where we went as kids because there was nothing else to do in this area. And when I tell you it was a middle of the road, nowhere strip club, it was a middle of the road, nowhere strip club. We're talking C-sections on deck, baby. It's C-section scars on deck. It was amazing. Wonderful place. The night before uh, Thanksgiving is a night that everybody goes out. And I was in Pinehurst, North Carolina. And that day I saw a poster that Club Gold had reopened as the Cheetah Review. And I went, well, I, I have to go to the Cheetah Review, even if for just old time's sake, I'll go by myself and I will see what's up. It's, it's, it's Thanksgiving Eve. The place will be jumping. I was wrong. I was completely incorrect. I was the only person there, literally. The only man there, the only guy, <laughs> to the point where no one was even dancing. And I don't know if you've ever had oh, yeah. awkward energy before, but let me tell you, when you're reading your emails at a strip club and there's not even a bartender, there is a special kind of sadness that creeps into you. And I was like, okay, well, I'm here. I'll do one beer and I will go home. It's it's 10 o'clock at night. I got to get out of here. At that point, one girl comes out and she goes to the pole. And without music, she sets her iPhone up and starts live streaming herself doing this one move over and over again. One move, only one move. And I was in my mind going, well, this is most unusual. I've I've been to I've been to a strip club before. I wonder if she's on kick. I wonder if this is a kick streamer and I just this is my I'm seeing it live. Am I seeing a kick streamer IRL? Wow, that's for a cool. So, cat. this goes on for 10-15 minutes, no music. One move. She's like oh, yeah, wow. really working on this one twist. After the 15 minutes she comes over, she sits next to me. And she's talking to me. And I was like, were you streaming what you were doing? And she was like, yeah, yeah, I'm getting ready for this competition. It's like a, a, a world pole dancing competition. And I go, world pole dancing competition? She goes, yeah, you know, I took like third or fourth last year. And there's just some new moves that I'm working on. And in my mind, I was like, well, I have to see this. And I, I, I said, well, I don't really want a private dance, but why don't we do this? Why don't I take out some money? I'm the only person here. I'll change it into singles and I'll turn this place into, into a nor'easter. I'll turn this place into El Nino. I'll make it rain. You show me your routine for world pole dancing oh, competition. Yeah, wow. That's for a cool. Right? And ladies and gentlemen, you know, I'm an optimistic person. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a guy who always looks on the bright oh, yeah, side wow. of life. That's for a cool. Right? But when I tell months, you baby. that my expectations for what I was about to see were low, you know, they <laughs> lovingly, they were low. I we were in nowhere Fayetteville, North Carolina. And my expectations were very low. I took out 200 singles and I was ready. And when I tell you that my mind was absolutely blown out of the back of my skull, it is not adequate. 
I gave multiple standing ovations. What I saw was worthy of being at a Cirque du Soleil show. She did moves that in my long-legged life I had never seen. I laughed, I cried, I experienced catharsis. I was looking at the bartender like, are you seeing what I am seeing? Just an example of some of these moves. Things I have never seen before. She was up at the top of the pole, which is like 10, 15 feet in the air. She put her hands behind her back. She was upside down, upside down. And upside down, hands behind her back, she just dropped to within, I would say, three inches of the ground. And her, like, her face was right above the ground. Total stop, total pause. Didn't even sweat a moment. I gasped. <gasps> At another point, she was swinging around upside down again, inverted like Top Gun. She took her top off upside down again, put it in her teeth, and mid-spin, whipped it with her mouth, hit me in the face. I'm the only, I'm the only person there. I am alone. And I'm telling you, in my mind, I was like, I am seeing some shit right here, right now. I am witnessing some shit. And then she was like, all right, I'm going to do one of my really dangerous moves. And I was like, what? <laughs> and she was spinning inverted, no hands, one leg. I, I do the, the, the gravity makes no sense. Afterwards, she came over and talked to me for like 20 minutes. And I was like, dude, you got to go to that competition. And she was like, well, I don't know. I, I just had a kid and it's going to blah, blah, blah. And I, I said, you know what? Rack it up again. Let's do this for her kid's name was Reginald. I said, let's do this for Reginald one more time. <laughs> only person at the club, only dancer in the club. She ran it back, tipped her again. And I went home, had a crunch wrap supreme in bed. And I was cackling with laughter at what I had just witnessed. It was, it was one of those things that was so impossibly weird, oh, but it was cool. like, I'm so that's glad I just said so cool. yes to the weirdness. Anyway, to, f to flame, <laughs> to flame, if you ever see this, I hope you dominate in Florida. I hope you absolutely fucking kill it in Florida. That was my pre-Thanksgiving story. In bed, 1030, crunch wrap supreme, Baja blast. Watching anime, oh, cackling to myself. Possible stream idea. Sure. That lady teaches you some pole dancing moves. Dude, I would die. If I tried to do anything she did, I would die. 100%. I'm not kidding you. This shit was straight up dangerous. This, you're, there's no way you found the pole dancing competition. Someone did find her. Y'all are wild. Y'all are wild. Don't be weird. The love of God, don't be weird, please. God, what am I doing? Did old Will, this would have given me stress because I know Twitch chat can't really help but be weird, but I'm going to ask you, and in the spirit of the season, I'm going to believe. I'm going to believe that you can be respectful and nice. 